what is going on guys my name is fusions and today we're gonna be opening up this huge bakugan evolutions warrior well and blitz fox battle strike pack it's a big box with a lot of stuff so let's get started guys all right guys so like i said we're opening up a battle strike pack these are huge boxes because they come with six bakugan in here we have a Geogun, a Platinum Series Bakugan, two regular cores, and two Nanoguns. So lots of stuff in here. As you can see, we have the Bakugan that come in here, but we can take a look at the back. So you guys can see all the Bakugan more clear. So we have Aquos Dragonoid right there, pretty cool. Platinum uh, Chaos Warrior Well, Arles Blitz Fox. We do have a Geogun, which is Aquos and Frog. And then the two nanos here, Darkest Nano Shadow and Pyrus Nano Fury. It comes with three action cards, three character cards, and three gate cards. Six Baku cores as well. Let's open this box up and let's take everything out. All right, so here we have the Bakugan, but we also do have a bag that comes with all the cards here. So we're gonna take a look at that first, and then we'll take a look at the Bakugan one by one. So here is this little bag. Let's take a look at the cores, the action cards, and the gate cards as well. And like I said, we'll take a look at the Bakugan one by one with their character cards. So let's see, let's take these out. All right, oops, I took a core with me. Well, there's one core. We're gonna take the character cards out of the way for now. I think these are the Nanoguns uh, and the Geoguns, yeah. So, never mind. We'll take a look at those one by one. We do have the gate cards and some other stuff. Let's see. So, this is like a little rule book, I think. We'll put it to the side. There is a list here of Bakugan from Evolutions showing off that Prisma Dragonoid, of course. Here's a list. You can take a look at that if you want. And then we do have some cores and the gate cards. So first the gate cards. Let's see what we got. First one is a Drago year four gate card number 19. Pretty cool Drago art. Looks pretty nice. We do have a, ooh, who is this? Is this Falcron? I think it's Falcron. Yeah, <laughs> gate card number 11. I can't remember, I think it is Falcron. But that is uh, number 11 from year four. And then we do have a shark tar with like some characters there shun winton and lightning there pretty cool i like this because there's a lot going on right there he's even like taking a shot there like a darkest shot or something pretty cool gate card number 25 all right i don't know if i have these but if i don't that's awesome we do have the cores looks like we got a lot of shields and we basically have everything except helix so first one is a magic shield plus 500 b uh i'd rather have the plus 650 but you know minus 300 b for this regular shield plus 300 b for this regular shield oh that's a good one actually aquas and pirates get plus 400 that's a, a really nice one Ooh, one of the best um flame fist plus 250 b plus three damage and then we do have a plus 150 b plus one damage green fist Time to take out the Bakugan. So here is the Aquos Drago. Okay, we'll put that back there. We do have the Arles Blitz Fox. Super, super stuck in there. Oof, okay. So yeah, be careful with that one. <laughs> we do have the Platinum Series Chaos Warrior Well, looking pretty sick. We do have the Geogun over here, which is Amphrog. There we go. Oh. There we go. And then we do have the nanos up here. So this one over here is Shadow. They put them really stuck in here. There we go. Shadow. And then this one over here is Fury. I think I do have Fury, but I do not have Shadow. And that one is actually going to be really good. Because I'm going to use it soon. I'm actually going to use it at the upcoming tourney. I am hosting a tourney. So if you want some info about that tourney that I'm hosting... Uh, very very soon um, join my discord link in the description for all the info let's take a look at the Bakugan so I'm just gonna leave them like this for now we'll start like organizing them as we go so first where we're we taking a look at we're looking at Pyrus Nano Fury pretty cool looks amazing on the art I really like that a lot 
It is a Pyrus Nanogon. If your team is holding a Green Fist and a Flame Fist, you get plus 500B. Not too bad. Looks pretty nice. And look at that big, big boost. If you're holding a Green Fist, Flame Fist, Regular Shield, and Magic Shield, you can activate this and get a plus 3000B boost. It's a beast. But look at the requirements. You need four different types of cores in order to get the plus 3000B. It's not as good as Ventus Sledge. Sledge, you just need four uh, regular shields. But yeah, I mean, plus 3000, if you can pull that off, it would be crazy, crazy. Not bad, not bad. That first one is pretty good though. Let's take a look at it. So here is the Nanogon. It is a Pyr Pyrus, like I said. Um, we do have the orange color with the yellow. Bright, bright yellow. Pretty nice. It's not too bad. I don't like the design as much, but I mean, you know, they're not all going to be amazing, or at least not to me. It does have uh, the beak. It looks like it's red. Let's see if I can focus that. There we go. Looks like the beak is red. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. That is uh, Pyrus Nano Fury. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this nano gun? Let me know. Let me just close it real quick so you guys can see how you close it. It is kind of weird, but let's let's try it. So first, you put the head in all the way in there like that. Then the tail goes in. It's gonna be kind of sticking out a little bit, but the wings have like a little hole where the tail is gonna go in like that. You see that? Yeah. So just move them around and then you'll be able to close it. And that's basically how you close it. There you go. So that's how you close this Fury. Looks pretty nice. Um, I do like the details outside. I wish they were painted like red or something or even orange because you can see kind of flames there. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, but if they were painted, that would have been so sick. But this is Fury. Um, this is a Nanogon, so it doesn't activate with like a Magna or anything. It's all manual. That's how Nanoguns work. But yeah, Fury. All right, let's move on to the next Bakugan. Gun. So we're taking a look at, ooh, okay. This one is exciting because this is Darkest Nano Shadow. I don't remember if I have a shadow yet, but this, this might be my first one. Now, this is a darkest nanogon, so I needed a dark, a good darkest nanogon for my deck. My deck does have some fire fist and shields. And these abilities are not too bad for just holding a fire, fire fist or flame fist. Uh, you get the minus core ability, so you get to take away your opponent's core. They put it back on the field, but at least they have no more core. Pretty good. But then if you wait and get a shield as well, you do the same ability and then you get a plus 200B as well. So you really want to activate that second one because it's not too difficult to activate only two cores. And if you have um, Bakugan that are going to get those cores anyway, it's a really good boost. So I needed this one. I'm so happy I got it. Like I said, I'm going to be playing this one in a deck for um, the upcoming tourney that I'm actually hosting. So again, if you want information about that tourney, I am going to be streaming it as well. But if you want info about it, join my Discord. Link in the description. I'm just happy I got this one. Let's take a look at the Nanogon. So this one does look kind of weird. It does stand up like this. Yeah, you can see the face in there. It does have some sort of like protective thing on top of the head that you can kind of move back. Look at that. Looks a little weird, but I mean... Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Does it only have two legs? The other two legs in the back. I don't know if these are legs as well. Can I even move this? Oh, there's a tail. There's a little tail right there. I guess these are supposed to be the other legs, like the back legs. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like a weird design. But let's see if I can close it now. Uh, looks kind of easy to close, actually. Yeah, very, very simple to close. Let's open it up. Open move this back like this and then I guess take out the little tail as well and there you go that is uh darkest nano shadow do you guys like this one let me know in the comments moving on to bigger boys we're gonna take a look at the geogun okay so here is aquos and frog it's a frog and it's jumping out of the water that's that's what it is three energy to play this geogun 600b 
four damage. Now, if you land on a green fist, you get a thousand B power for just landing on a green fist, uh, but it costs three energy. So what you can do is kind of land on the best B boosting green fist, which is 150 and I think two damage. So you would be at 1750 with six damage with this Geogun. It doesn't seem too bad, but it does cost three energy to play. So, I mean, do you guys like it? What do you guys think? Do you think it's strong enough for you to play? I'm just happy that I have this one because I don't think I had it. So, I mean, it's a, it's a new Geogun for me. Another one to the collection. But let me know in the comments if you guys think that's worth it. Three energy, you might get to 1750 with six damage. Hmm, maybe, maybe. But here is the Geogun. I like the colors, first of all. Of course, it is an aqua, so I'm a little biased, but I mean, looks nice. You cannot tell me that that does not look nice because it does. <laughs> I like the details here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. You can obviously take these out. I mean, you can tell. Because I think this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be? I, don't, I can't remember. I think this is a Vylock piece. So this is a. Yeah, this is the leg of like Vylock, I think. I think you're supposed to close it. Let me see if I can do it. Yeah. So this is like a leg. You guys can kind of see that, right? And then this attaches to the body of the big Vylock combiner. Now let's, um, let's see. There we go. But yeah, so that's why you have this here. Uh, I always thought this uh, design was kind of weird. I don't know why, just like, this part just I don't know how it looks like a frog I don't know how it looks like a frog maybe the eyes for sure but like this part like what is this is it supposed to be like a big mouth I don't I don't even know honestly but yeah I'll close and frog what do you guys think do you guys like this geogun let me know closing this geogun is super super simple first we're gonna push these up like this then the sides and then finish it by closing it by pushing the top in and it should lock together and that is how you close is Geogun. Now Geoguns you do not roll. I mean this one you might be able to roll it sort of. Yeah no not really. These Geoguns you actually drop. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's drop it. Three, two, one, brawl. And that is how you land this Aquals and Frog. We're barely halfway and we're getting to the good stuff. The regular core Bakugan and then the Planetum series. So first we're taking a look at RLS Blitzfox. Okay, so Blitzfox is a very cool Bakugan, I would say. I really like the the design. It just likes pretty sick. Magic Shield, Green Fist. Like I said, it is an RLS though, but I like that it has a Magic Shield. 600 B power and 2 damage. Now, for the Magic Shield, it does have an ability here. You land on the Magic Shield, you get to take away your opponent's core, which could be really good because if you land on a Magic Shield, it will most likely be the best one, so 650. That means you will get all the way up to 1250B, not too bad. And then you leave your opponent with no core. So this is actually playable because if your opponent does not have a core, I do not think they're gonna be at 1250 without a core. Now, if they re-roll and then they get their core back, that's something else. But I mean, you just gotta take a look at what it could do. Um, I guess like, on the first instance, the first thing that it could do. But if your opponent decides to, you know, respond, then that's something else. But it seems good. I mean, 600 with a magic shield, 1250, leave your opponent with no core. Not bad, not bad at all. It's actually, in my opinion, just because of that ability, it just helps us so much. This is actually a playable RLS. I mean, do you guys think that's true? Or do you guys not like this? Let me know in the comments. And here's the Bakugan. We do have this yellow, weird mustard color. I mean, it is evolution. So you know how they did the Arliss and evolutions. But I do like, I mean, look at this detail here. It has a gold mask. That looks sick. I like that gold mask. That's for sure. The tail, this is the best part. The details on the tail of Blitz Fox, it's it's awesome. Blitz Fox has the best design for like uh, the flame sort of thing. And of course, the Pyrus one is the best because you know, Pyrus is like flames and stuff. But this one also looks pretty good. I do like the gold flames. 
it looks nice i like that a lot like i said the arless color the mustard yellow not a big fan of it but the gold makes up for it it does have some silver in there as well and a little bit of orange on the ears but most of it is that yellow do you guys like it do you guys like this mustard yellow let me know in the comments but let's close this up so first we gotta push the legs up like this legs up head down then we push the body in and then push this down you gotta do all of that together like this now that you're holding that you can just push the sides in and that is how you close this split fox Ooh, look at this design here pretty cool it looks like two apps maybe for fusions nah i'm just kidding but <laughs> i mean let's roll this onto a core and let's see how this one opens up let's move this out of the way now here we go all right blitz fox show us what you got three two one brawl and that is arless blitz fox we still got two more boxes to go through so let's see what's next we got aquals dragonoid this dragonoid actually looks a little weird you know why because i'm used to seeing a pirate's dragonoid like in between fire and just like playing with fire and this one is just like in water i don't even <laughs> i don't know I, i'm just not used to seeing this sort of thing where he's like in the ocean or something just playing around with the water yeah it seems a little weird but you know it, it doesn't matter this is aqua's dragonoid double shield for this dragonoid 700b one damage it does have an ability plus 400b and plus four damage for landing on a shield so you most likely want to land i mean the shield that we got is actually pretty good let me see if i can find it real quick yeah so this is probably the best shield that you want to land on because it gives you for aquas you get plus 400 oops i dropped it here it is so you'll be 700 plus the core 400 you will be at 11 and then you do get another 400 for landing on this uh, shield. So you would be at 1500 B and then with five damage, which is not too bad. 1505, you can go both ways. You can go damage route with that. Maybe, maybe because it's five, it's not that great. And 15 is like not that great either. So it's like kind of, kind of like a balanced Bakugan, but I mean, I'm just, I just keep looking at that art. I don't know, I don't know. It just kind of looks weird that Dragonoid is playing with water and he has like water wings. I don't know guys, I don't know. What do you guys think? But here's the Baku gun itself. Most of it, as you can see, is blue because it is an Aquos Baku gun. I do like the extra details. That is a pretty cool detail. It's like a wave, just, you know, more Aquos ocean stuff water stuff we do have some details on the wings as well which is nice what i don't like about it is this color what is that what does the faction symbol have to be that color it's an aquas bakugan they could have just made it you know this sort of color this kind of bluish color why do you have to make that yellow I, I don't know even the horn is like yellowish i don't i don't like that why is yellow on an aquas bakugan we, have, we even have a little bit of orange there too like why just keep it like bluish color scheme because it's an aquas but you know enough of that but yeah it, it's a cool it's a cool bakugan we've seen this design a lot it's a really nice dragonoid and the aquas colors do look nice on this one so yeah not bad not bad at all what do you guys think do you guys like this one because i like it but now let's close it so first we're gonna push the body down like that it's gonna lock then we push the tail in which is going to push the head down but you push it all the way and hold that one side leg goes up wing goes down there we go and then the other side leg goes up wing goes down and it should lock together and it does look pretty cool in ball form especially because of this i do like these details this and this i feel like that just goes together really good it looks nice let's roll it onto that core and let's see it open up let's see it in action three two one bro and there is that aquals dragonoid if you guys made it this far into the video give it a like that means you're enjoying the video if you made it this far but let's continue we got one more bakugan to go through and it is the platinum series bakugan 
Platinum Series Chaos Warrior Well. And there it is, the big buff well. We have a Flame Fist and a regular shield, orange shield. Big B power, 800 B power, and four damage. No abilities. Whenever we see no abilities, usually it's a bad thing. Nowadays, you need abilities, but it does have 800 B power. So if you can borrow a magic shield, you can get a, all the way up to 1450, which is it's not too bad. 1450 and four damage. It's not too bad, but it's not great because it doesn't carry it. So you you do have to borrow from another Bakugan. Now it does carry a Flame Fist. So you have four damage to start off. If you land on that Flame Fist, you get all the way up to 10 damage, which is okay. I mean, you can probably do some damage win plays. This Bakugan seems balanced because you can kind of go both routes to B power. If you do land on a magic shield, 1450, you can kind of go that route, or maybe you can put it in a damage wins deck because you can make it all the way up to 10 damage with its own core. So it's kind of like a balanced Bakugan, not the best on B power, not the best on damage, but kind of in the middle. What do you guys think? Would you guys play with this one or not? Let me know in the comments. And here is Warrior Well, Platinum Series Chaos Warrior Well. You can see that these parts right here, they're both metal. So the Bakugan is a little heavier, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. The design of Warrior Well isn't too bad. I think it looks okay. I do like all the details everywhere, of course. I just like these extra like details everywhere. You can see there's like some on the sides there. There's some on the front. Um, I do like the, the jaw, that color of the, the jaw there. Looks nice. And then we do have, of course, the metal parts, which make it look pretty cool. You know, silver, extra silver. Um, so yeah, looks looks good. I like the color scheme of Chaos. I don't think it looks too bad. Um, the eyes, they could have been silver, that would have been sick, but they decided to put just a random, just a random yellow color for the eyes. I don't know why, but that's what they did. Overall, I think it looks great. It doesn't look too bad. And again, it's a balanced Bakugan. I do like that it is a Platinum series. So what you can do, it's kind of like, um, roll hard and maybe you can stop your opponent from coming into the field maybe that's a strategy you could do with this one it is a really buff well so i mean you gotta play how it is you know but yeah that's this warrior well uh let me know in the comments if you guys would play this one and let me know what you guys think of the design and the colors do you guys like it time to put this bakugan into ball form so first we're gonna push these in like this then we're gonna flip this in and push the tail down you do all of that hold all of that together and then just push both sides together and it should lock and you're good to go now where well is in ball form meaning we can get to roll it so let's roll it onto a core and let's see a land let's see what it can do three two one brawl and there is platinum series chaos where well so that's it for this opening of this big warrior well and blitz fox battle strike pack it was a huge one lots of stuff i love opening these up though because it comes with a lot of stuff a platinum series bakugan copa cores a geogun and the nanos from this pack i really like the nanos i think they're both very very useful I like the big boost that you can potentially get this one is just overall good i mean i like that the Bakugan all look really cool. None of them are like super strong, but they're kind of balanced. So I definitely do like that. Balanced Bakugan can sometimes be good in decks as well. But that's it for this video. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Bakugan content. Of course, like I said during the video, uh, there's a link in the description. You can join my Discord. Don't forget about that. Make sure you join it. Thanks for watching guys and peace out.